places. Mm-hmm. No, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> I know exactly where I'm going. Never go the wrong way. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> now let's get the hell out of here. Hot mm -hmm. And we're off to see the wizard the wonder boat. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it turn? Why did it do? Tralala, Temi Village. Okay. The room before the darkening lantern room. Damn it! Come again sometime, Tralala. Alright, so L3? Yes. Well, no, it's, it's, it's mm. R3, isn't it? I think it's... I've never been to R3. R3. For sure I've been to L3. Yeah. Yeah, this is where you need to go. Yeah. Then you go up. Yeah. Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great de deals. Okay, give me a deal. I want a deal. Give me a deal. Give me a deal. Mmm, deals. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get us some glam burgers? <laughs> we don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you 1,000 G if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would honestly buy the mystery key. That's all you really need. Probably to someone's house. LOL. You have too many items. Oh. No. Won't let me sound again. No. Like, see you later. I think you can drop something. I probably can use some healing item. Probably. Well, I, I want. No, you don't need it to heal. Um, I can drop you the. Probably drop the ballet shoes. You, you don't need those. Valley shoes was thrown away. And then go back up and buy the key. Unless you want to drop a Saint Apron as well. <laughs> You're rocking out to this. <laughs> Braddy, we're gonna be rich. Like later and stuff. Talk to Sands. I don't think there's anything over there. Yeah. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Great, thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. I told you it went somewhere. Well, it doesn't really, it just does it for Sands. Well, here we are. So. The journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know that feeling, Brado. Blado? Brado. <laughs> Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here you've already got food, drinks, friends. This is what you have to do. Really worth it? Huh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. Some sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. It's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock, knock. And suddenly, on the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? 
So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? This is a very bad joke. <laughs> and she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming. And she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. And then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. <laughs> we kept telling each other knock or other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The pirate gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And I did it again. And again. And it's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. And she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Suds, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Someone really cares about you. puzzles in order for human attacks. And now, building things winding and confusing is some awful tradition. You can't go, ugh, to your feet without being held up by your armpits and puzzles. Where am I? Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Relaxing atmosphere of this hotel if it's your with determination. I'm probably inside the one building, I guess. Yeah, you're inside the building. It was out. Whenever you talk to Sands. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice! MTG Resort provides itself on being passed through. <laughs> this elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Wow, room service! Got my CT? You do actually have CT. <laughs> and pour the CT under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want. Here's the tip. You got 99G. Okay. It's locked from the inside. Wah, room service? Got my cinnamon bun? No. Then. 
You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Sure. Hope you didn't have anything appealing. Seems busy. No, this guy. <laughs> if you talk to him, he has, you know, why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> what? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'm getting in trouble if I show me with the customers. Sorry. Well, so, I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> it's just the faces that he makes. Still got time, don't live like me. I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. Never interact with attractive people. Two chicks asked me to sneak them some hamburgers. They have changes and I would have said yes to them. Bad idea. I went out to the alley to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what happened next. Then my boss uh, saw me, asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers and pockets tumbled out onto the ground. I wanted to lose face. I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over the weight of the remaining hamburgers, caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. Alright. Came to Hotland, it was my dream to work from the time. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. God, have you even looked around these places at Labyrinth of Bad Choices? And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. <laughs> Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sick ones and glue. Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. <laughs> they don't work. <laughs> Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait! There's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Any time, little buddy. Ring. Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. <laughs> oh well, we can't worry about that now. Why'd you even call me? I thought you were supposed to give me the statuses and that was supposed to be my update. It's not you calling. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the car. What? I was into the anyway. Well, oh, actually, I guess there's two other doors. But I guess I'll take the elevator. Oh, the elevator isn't working. What? The elevator should be working. Well, then go to the right. Head it up. Alright, now just keep heading up. That tip is on the map. Get it, let's try the last one. Ok, 
Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Watch out! Man, Jake pops out of its cat. No, whoa, what is what is this? Did I do it right? No. Because you attacked. Oh, I, oh, I did not mean attack. So many monsters here. I mean, it's no problem, right? We've got just to keep heading forward. Green. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those razors will activate when you do. Mm, looks like it will come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Oh god, that was creepy. I didn't realize it was wrong. Oh my god, are you okay? I, I'm sorry I gave you the wrong order. You did? No, you didn't. <laughs> Everything's fine, okay? Let's just keep heading to the right. It was blue, blue, and orange, and I moved on the last one. Hey, crossroads, huh? Uh, try heading to the right! <laughs> Starts to look sleepy. A dwarf. Night night watches quietly. You keep singing. Night night closes its eyes a bit. Goodbye. Night night's armor emits a dark sheen. Keep singing. Night night falls asleep. Night night is snoring. Yeah. But are you okay? Why didn't you head <laughs> to the right? Come on, you, you can trust me, but don't you? I felt like I was eventually gonna hit this half. <laughs> Honestly. I don't move. Yeah. Remember, blue, you don't move. Ah, oh, you ass! But more lasers? Okay, I I won't mess this time. I'll mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're they're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I it, it, it's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for the whole node, and you can walk across. Okay, go. 
I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. But wait, stop! The, the power is turning itself back on. But damn it. This isn't supposed to. Alright. I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little. And then stop. Okay? You, you don't want to get her hurt. Got everything under control. Everything's under control. Okay, you should, you should. I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry. I, I, I have to go. The air is filled with the smell of ozone that fills you with determination. Even though ozone is a dangerous thing to breathe in. <laughs> There's actually a few different items in this area, like just just in the entire area in general. But yeah, you do have a couple puzzles to do as well. You got two shots on this one. Yeah. There's a glam burger inside the trash can. You take it. You got the glam burger. That whole pile of rushes in. Inside the trash can, will you take it? Yes, I like it. Can't go down here. Can't turn it off. The stigmatism drew near. You don't pick on the stigmatism. Don't pick on me. Stigmatism doesn't care about fighting anymore. <laughs> okay. I think that's the direction you have to go in. Oh, no, we're right. Behind this door must be the elevator of the king's castle. You're filled with determination. Oh yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not malfunction, reprogramming, get real. This is all just a big show. An act. Alphys has been playing you for the fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it, so she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles, she disabled elevators, she enlisted me to torment you. All so she could save you from the dangers that didn't exist. All so you would think she's a great person. That she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you from, for one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. 
I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the science deserves a good st show, don't they? And what's a good show without a plot twist? But hey, well, well, what's going on? The, the, the door just locked itself. Sorry, folks, the old program's been cancelled. We've got a finale that will drive you wild. Real drama, real action, real bloodshed. On our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. <laughs> Probably what you'll do if things continue in this manner. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself! Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. You can shoot those. Oh yeah, I forgot I can shoot. I completely forgot I can shoot. Seriously, his metal bottle and body is invulnerable. But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. And using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. Try to avoid the bombs, they, they hurt. <laughs> Glitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? That's show business, baby. Uh, I can't see what's going on in there, but... D -d don't give up, okay? But there's one little last way to beat Metaton. It's, um, it's... This is a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always faces forward? That's because there's a switch on his backside. So this is how if you, you can turn him around, um... And, um, press the, the, the switch... He'll be, um... It'll be vulnerable. Well, you gotta go. Seems like a good time to turn Meditim around. Oh. You tell Meditim that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror? Right, I have to look perfect for our grand finale. Hmm, I don't see where it is. Where is it? Did you just flip my switch? Oh, yes. What? What the heck? Oh my. If you flip my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, thanks. I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments. Absolutely beautiful. Metaton EX makes his premiere. And you got ratings up at the top. 
Uh, once they hit a certain number, then the battle will eventually end. I can't remember what that number is, but Money's they go down, down. Yeah, they go down the longer you wait. So you don't want it to go down? No. Pose dramatically, the audience knows. Oh, what the? Yeah, so if you shoot them, no, if you shoot them, they'll stop. You say you aren't going to get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during Meditant's turn. Remember bombs. Turn and scoff at the audience. They're rooting for your destruction this turn. Despite being hurt, you pose dramatically. The audience applauds. Wow, for the camera. Crap out of it. It's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an eat essay question. Do you love most? It doesn't really matter which one you do. You say you aren't going to get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during the turn. I guess it really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? And you just gotta keep shooting the heart. Sounds like medicine. shoot and then flip over and flip back. Things are blowing up. Happy break time. Going crazy. <laughs> I bought another card. Thank <laughs> you. 
the audience has. J -j drama action. Jesus. He gave no fucks on that one. See, so you aren't going to get hit at all, which is probably a bad decision. Yeah. The lights. Camera. Enough of this. You really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? The audience applies. Uh, how inspiring. Well, darling, it's either you, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity, Star. viewers I've ever had. You've reached the viewer call-in milestone. <laughs> One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh. Hi, Medicine. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode? I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait, bleh. They already hung up. I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton shaped hole in my Metaton shaped heart. Ah, <laughs> uh, I. I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps. It might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols. The monsters. They only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Ha, ha. It's all for the best anyway. The truth is, the swarm's energy consumption is... inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and... well... I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Managed to open the lock. Are you two? Oh my god. Metaton. Metaton, are you. Oh, thank god it's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have. I would have. I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always 
to just rebuild another. Why don't you go on ahead? So, sorry about that. Let's keep going. Okay. So, so you're about to meet Asgore, uh huh? You must be. You must be. Per pretty excited about all that, huh? You'll f finally. You'll finally get to go home. Wait. I mean, um, I. I was just going to, um, say goodbye and. I can't take this anymore. I. I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a long elevator. <laughs> no determination? Nope. <laughs> okay, well, that's nice. Now you can, if you go back through that elevator, then uh, you can go back and buy some items. Oh, never mind, not yet. <laughs> you have to go a little bit further. I'm bringing up my hopes for no reason. God, it's cold in here. Yeah, it's because I turned off the heater. Uh, oh, excuse me. Eerily quiet. Just a little bit.